started the day off uh, this morning bright and early at 2 and noticed that there's some heavy chafing happening on the uh, self-steering control lines. Brought the handy duct tape out and uh, duct taped them and then also realized that they weren't going through... What are those, what are those spinny things called? Circular spinnies? Blocks? Spring, spring blocks call them. Spring blocks. It's funny that they're called blocks because they're circles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. some gale conditions. Wind was gusting up to 50 miles an hour there for a bit, almost 80 kilometers an hour. And uh, waves got up to about five meters and they were breaking over our boat. Uh, we decided to heave to and then thought we should test our sea anchor, which ended up being quite the ordeal. It took many hours and we were unable to uh, keep the boat on the right tack. It kept wanting to tack through the wind and that led the, uh, what is that line called? The pennant, the pennant kept on getting caught underneath the boat, which ended up being quite annoying and a hassle. Um, and the last time it actually just sort of seemed to wrap itself around the rudder. So I let it go and it's now probably sitting in a tangled mess around the end of our sea anchor, which might be the reason why we're not going into the wind right now. Starboard Dodger window is blown through from a wave, probably crashing right on it and smashing through it. The uh, cabin is certainly not watertight. There's water dripping in from pretty much anywhere you can imagine. And uh, the steering vane rudder came loose and started smashing off the stern of the boat. I managed to take that in and put it in the stern lazarette, sitting okay. Um, yeah, other than that, we're doing pretty good. All our sails are in one piece. We're in one piece. Got a little bit of seasickness, a bit of tiredness. We're well rested now though, and looking forward to sailing tomorrow. Wow. Last uh, few days were very challenging. We had some chafing on the rudder from where it was rubbing up against the main line. The main line seems to be okay though. One of our, uh, our jib blocks is bent and our main anchor uh, lead on the bow is bent. Um, we replaced the bungee on the steering vane rudder as it was making it difficult to put it in and out. And uh, self-steering seems to be working quite well right now. Cape Horn is doing this well. Uh, Dave is having a nap. He's got all of his stuff drying. We're back under sail now, having uh, pulled up the sea anchor first thing this morning. We're on a broad reach, heading approximately 200 degrees south, southwest. Uh, winds are pretty steady around 20 knots. Smoother seas, it's obviously a it's gonna feel that way when we're not uh, having a break on us. We're sort of nicely cruising downwind here. All is good. Day seven, May 7th, 2016. Indeed, we are south of the Mexican border, if it existed out in the ocean. And we ate not, not one, but two delicious things today. Very delicious. Dave cooked up a corned beef hash, yeah. can call it. Yeah. And I just whipped up a spaghetti. 
and we had some delicious caramel sea salt chocolate afterwards. And we made the most distance in a 24-hour period towards Hawaii that we have yet. 111 miles. Boom. Dolce is flying. Yeah, more of a beam reach. Waves uh, coming right at our beam. Smacking us once in a while. Probably jostling me out of my deep sleep. If, if I do have such a thing. We have set up a dual head sail set up right now. No main flying. We have a jib and a smaller jib. Heading straight downwind. Not that there is much wind. We're probably averaging about three to four knots of wind right now. Enough to move us forward, but not enough to keep our sails full. And uh, pretty, pretty beautiful, calm ocean right now, though. It is one of the advantages of little wind. It gives you time to reflect and relax and look deep into the water and see if any big fish or sea monsters are waiting for you to go for a swim, which I almost did today. Um, as we had became becalmed, I lowered the sails, got a got everything ready, got buck naked and was about to jump in and then it got fairly windy and I got cold and so put the clothes back on, raised the sails and we had enough wind to keep going and then I just did a bucket shower up on the, up on the bow of the boat here. Yeah, generally fixed and organized and cleansed some more stuff around the boat. All is well.